take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Grounded theory involves the collection and analysis of data. The theory is grounded in actual data, which means the analysis and development of theories happens after you have collected the data. It was introduced by Glazer and Strauss in 1967 to legitimize qualitative research. Make your mark, take our lead. Grounded theory works when it explains how study participants address the problem at hand and related problems. A theory is modifiable and can be altered when new relevant data are compared to existing data. Make your mark, take our lead. Disadvantages of Grounded Theory Methodology Grounded theory methodology is time-consuming and difficult to conduct. There is a great room for researcher-induced bias. Presentation of research findings in grounded theory is not straightforward. Let's help you make your mark. Grounded theory differs from either qualitative content analysis or thematic analysis because it has its own distinctive set of procedures, including theoretical sampling and open coding. In contrast, the procedures in the other two are not specified at the same level of detail. Let's help you make your mark. According to Charmas, grounded theory refers to a set of systematic inductive methods for conducting qualitative research aimed toward theory development. The term grounded theory denotes dual reference. A, a method consisting of flexible methodological strategies and B, the products of this type of inquiry. Let's help you make your mark. The defining characteristics of grounded theory include simultaneous involvement in data collection and analysis, construction of analytic codes and categories from data, not from preconceived logical hypotheses, use of the constant comparative method, analysis that involves making comparisons during all steps of the Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.